All right, uh, Merrill Barber Bridge there, Vero Beach, going over to the Barrier Islands and looking nice out there. And a couple of dark clouds from time to time are starting to build a little bit and move up towards that area. But right now you're rain free in Vero Beach. Uh, we do have some showers around, so let's take a little tour. You see mainly the inland areas. Now everything's about west of the Turnpike, but earlier we had some right along the coastline. We see some moving through Jupiter Farms, the acreage, uh, a little sprinkle there in Wellington. Western Martin County too, or I guess Central Martin County, west of uh, the Turnpike and I-95, maybe a little bit. I-95 swings way out here. You're getting a quick little shower there, and this one in Jupiter Farms may move over uh, towards Hope Sound. And this little bit near Fort Pierce, uh, just north of Fort Pierce Inlet there. Vero, you're looking okay right now, but a little sprinkle near Johns Island. Temperatures right now into the mid to upper 80s. Highs today will be the upper 80s with the humidity. It's going to feel more like the mid 90s or so. And those scattered showers and thunderstorms through throughout the af afternoon off and on, but in between some sunshine too, and you may get a shower. You'll see some sun and then maybe another shower or thunderstorm tonight. A chance for a quick shower on the Treasure Coast or a thunderstorm. Otherwise, the rain chances taper down and tomorrow we'll start off with a lot of sunshine, but we're going to end up hot and humid near 90 and scattered afternoon showers and storms. Watch Viper cast. Here's today. A lot of the concentration near the lake, but can't rule out something back towards the coastline. There is a quick blip overnight tomorrow morning an isolated shower, but a lot of sun and then we start to see the sea breeze get going. So I think we have till just afternoon and then in the mid afternoon, everything blows up and you see scattered to numerous storms out there. Could be some heavy rainfall makers here too and some lightning. So outdoor plants keep that in mind. It does somewhat concentrate towards the lake a little bit later, but by nine o'clock or so it's all gone and by sunset time we're done tomorrow as we get into Sunday around a little earlier, maybe just after lunchtime, some showers and storms blow up through the day and then they end earlier too. By the before sunset, we'll see uh, those storms end and then we'll return to some sunshine. Good cookout weather. We do have some Saharan dust headed our way on Monday, so rain chances do drop going into Monday and Tuesday because of that. Beach and boating, a little choppy out there today, but it will improve greatly over the weekend. You won't have to worry about the seas. You'll have to worry about what's up in the sky, the lightning. So keep that in mind for boaters. And I know this is a big boating weekend into Memorial Day.